Self-Portrait after Elizabeth Sophie Cheron, Francoise Cheroux. This work is unusual, as you'll see it's not actually in the exhibition. It was planned for inclusion, but we discovered that it was far too delicate and would need treatment for display that would take a number of weeks. Every artwork in this exhibition has been treated and mounted by a conservator who specialises in artworks on paper. This all takes a great deal of time and care. This particular print is an example of how etching was traditionally produced in the 16 and 1700s. An engraver would translate an existing image into print, the original image being by another artist. In this case, a self-portrait by Elizabeth Sophie Chiron. Artists would often hire engravers to translate their work as presses were expensive and also they may not have had the skills, though we know Chiron did. She painted this self-portrait and was born in 1648 in Paris. She was an enamel miniature painter, a poet and a translator. She was the fourth female artist to ever be admitted to the French Art Academy of Painting and Sculpture. A highly intelligent artist and academic, it appears she did not follow the example expected of women of her class at that time. She turned down multiple marriage proposals and eventually married Jacques de Haye, the king's engineer, at the age of 60, dying four years later in 1711.